Okay, hi everyone. Now I'm going to show you how to take 50% of the shells out of where the acorn meat is so it's easier to pick out the meat. So first we're going to do, we're at the sink and you just take the acorn uh, mush and stuff, mess, put it right into a big pot or just dump it straight in. Um, a little dusty because the dust from the uh, natural from the shell. Um, now, the way that we do it is cold water. Never use hot water because we want to have a binding agent with the acorn. And if you use hot water, you will not have the binding agent. So I'm going to fill this up a little bit. Got a small bowl in the sink for in and out. So we're doing the float test uh, again. Uh, but this time we're taking the shells out. And not the, uh, the whole acorn. So most of the shells will float. So that's a good thing. All the acorn meat will sink. But some of the uh, acorn shells will sink too. So... I'm gonna let this fill up, so give it a minute. Okay, now we have the water filled right up. So you just stick your hands in and then move that water and stuff around, toss it around as much as you can, and examine. There is no acorn meat in my hand. So I take this stuff out. It, and I'm going to keep my hands towards the top of the water where the shells are. So look how many of the shells I'm taking out. And basically this takes out like 50 plus percent of the shells. And well, bad acorns too. So in these out. Toss it around. The reason why I'm doing this in the sink is making a mess already. And see how there's a lot less shells and more acorn meat. So, there's that. Okay, the next step is taking the little bit more shells out and uh, make sure as many as these can come out. There's a little acorn meat in that. But any of the acorn meat that I mess in this bowl, squirrels can have. Now, some of the acorn shells fell in the sink. I'm going to take those out. But, next up, the sieve to dump the water in the acorn. Now, this is the slightly heavy. Oh, there's a piece of acorn meat. Wash it off. Now, I'm going to dump this in a way that you can see what I'm doing. Dump that right in. Get as much as that acorn meat out of the pot. Yep, good. Just set to the side. Turn it off a little bit, and now, actually, it's more than 50%, more than 75. It's like 80 plus percent of the shells I took out by floating in the shells. So, at this point, I'm going to show you, in a second, of what you do next, because now these are wet, but it takes about an hour with the dehydrator. Okay. Now we moved over towards a little bit more where the dehydrator is. So, I'm going to just take the acorn meat, and basically, I have parchment paper that I have used, it's a little unique in there, and I just easily just spread it out. The reason why I'm using parchment paper is that the, any of the smaller pieces of acorn meat doesn't fall through. So, I'll fill this right up. That's it. Maybe use both hands. A little faster. 
and it might take an hour to just dry them off to make sure that they're good to go. And when they're when this process is done, you can just pick out the good meat. There's going to be some bad meat still left inside of it in the, in, with all the acorns, some bad ones, but not much. We mostly got the good stuff. And at this point, I'm going to just start dehydrating and plug this right in and put the rest of that on there. Make sure when you do the dehydrating part, it's uh, always away from any shelves and stuff that might heat up any of the uh, stuff that you have in the shelves. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you uh, uh, what you're looking at uh, when it's you're processing the acorns next with water. Okay, when you have all your acorn meat dried up and stuff, then you should fill it up on a, like a half gallon mason jar, uh, or jar, or any kind of jar. I got this. Um, fill it about halfway with the dried ones that are the good acorn meat, because they will absorb the water that's in there, and they'll rise up a bit more. The way that I'm doing this is the reason is pretty much to get rid of the tannic acid. Tannic acid is not digestible. It is very bitter, the reason why most people don't like acorns. And the way that I do this is I take off the lid and I like to use the ring and then a piece of a paper towel. I just put it on. Easily twist that on and I poke a hole for air flow and I just pour off the excess tannic acid that's in there. So there's going to be slight color coming from the acorns but it's always going to have color. Now this way of leaching out the um, tannins in the acorns could take the way that I'm doing it with cold water it takes a little longer. Um, can take I don't know, a week or maybe four weeks, but I don't know exactly. They're done when they're done is you just taste them. So I'm going to taste one maybe right now for you guys. So you just discard the paper towel at that point. So I'm going to just taste one. So and basically it's going to be really bitter. That doesn't taste good, but it's been only like four days. So you just add more cold water, and that's basically getting the tannic acid out. Fill it right up. Too much water there. And just put the lid back on. And do change the water about at least once a day to not have any molding or fermentation but do it about two to three times a day and that's the best uh, results that you'll be getting and you'll know when it's done when it's not bitter so like and subscribe visit me at larkinswildlevels.com see you there